One of the biggest features that's missing in the mobile version of Chrome is extension support. Unlike Chrome for desktop browsers, you cannot install extensions from the Chrome Web Store on Chrome for Android or iOS. Fortunately, Google is actually working on a special new version of Chrome for Android that does support extensions. Here's a first look. So I'm actually running a special build of Google Chrome known as Chromium, which is the open source version of the web browser. And I am running a fresh build that enables extension support. This is called the desktop Android build that Google is working on for future Chromebooks and laptops running Android instead of Chrome OS or other operating systems. Um, but this current version doesn't support actually installing extensions properly from the Chrome Web Store. Instead, you have to manually sideload them by downloading the CRX files and then dragging and dropping them into the Chrome extensions page as I'm go going to do right now. So as you can see first, I'm installing the Keepa um, price tracker extension. And once I install that, as you can see here, I just to quickly refresh it. Now I'm going to go to the Amazon store listing page for a um, device, the OnePlus Pad 2, which is what I'm using to re record this demonstration. And I'm going to scroll down after installing this ext extension. And then you can see there's now a Keepa button below the um, device image listing. So I tap that. And then I wait um, for the extension to load. It does take quite a bit because it's unoptimized right now. So I had to speed up a few parts of this video. But once it loads, you can see the full price history of the device on Amazon, including all these neat filters that you can use to um, check the price over time. Um, you, can, you can go to the tracking product tab to set up a, a tracker. You can change some of the, the data um, output. You can change some of the settings to change how the visualization is shown. A lot of different things you can do with the extension. Very neat feature that is just not available on the stock Chrome web browser without this extension. So the next extension I'm going to show is a very popular one called Dark Reader. So many web pages, including the Android Developer blog, do not have a full dark theme. So I, as I, sh I can show you right now, I enable dark theme in system, and with, that also toggles the dark theme in Google Chrome. But when I reload the page, the background is still white, still very bright and hard to read at night. So um, this is something that the Dark Reader extension solves, which I have not installed yet. But just like before, I'm going to be dragging and dropping the CRX file for Dark Reader into the Chrome extension page, and that will install the Dark Reader extension. And then once I give a little quick refresh here, you can see it appears on the page as an installed extension. And now I can reload the Android Developer blog page. And as you can see, the background is now dark. And I think it just makes it much more comfortable to read, um, especially at night. And this applies to pretty much all web pages, including Amazon, for example, as you can see here. Now, of course, you know, this is an extension. It doesn't, um, some things may be harder to read because of the, the contrast issues that result. But this is something that you can um, configure on a per website basis. However, at the moment, with this version of desktop Android Chrome that I'm using, there is no ability to actually configure or toggle on and off individual extensions. Um, this is just like the very first version of Chrome, Chromium, that I managed to get extensions working at all. So I just wanted to demonstrate that a bit. Um, as you can see here, like the extensions are installed, including the Dark Reader, the even uBlock Origin, and the Keepa. But um, I'm unable to actually go into their extensions options. Even if I tap the extension options, like nothing opens up. There's no page or anything that shows up. Uh, but hopefully that's something they'll be adding in the future. If you're looking to try this feature out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the comments to um, download this special version of Chromium that I used. You cannot get it from the versions of Chrome available on the Play Store. However, if you do use it, um, note there are a few issues with it at the moment, including the fact that if you close out the browser, you have to manually re-enable all the extensions by dragging and dropping them again. And also, since it's Chromium and not Google Chrome, it's missing features like Google Sync, so you can't sign into your Google account. Um, however, I do hope Google eventually brings this feature to the mobile version of Chrome for all devices and not just the desktop version of Android that they're working on for Chromebooks and laptops.